Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? This is Tony. I have to lose weight, and this is my vlog. All right, guys, I know I was absent for two videos. I apologize. Crazy end of the week last week, getting one of our kids off to college, but I'm back for the week eight weigh-in, and I got good news. Now, I'm inside today. The weather has been rough here in Florida, so I'm doing it here from the studio, but I want to talk about something interesting today. I want to talk about uh, losing weight using a caloric diet deficit, uh, eating less calories. This is something that I've added to my process. Let me give you the weigh-in information first. It's an exciting day. We broke the 20-pound barrier, but here's the actual numbers. I weighed last week 352.6, this week 351.1 for a loss of negative 1.5 pounds, and that puts our total overall weight loss. Oh, let's pull up the whole deal. 20.7 pounds, 20 pounds down since we started this journey eight weeks ago. Uh, so what if, if I do four more sets of eight, then I'll be down 100 pounds. Just slow and steady is winning the race. Still doing the intermittent fasting where I have an eight-hour feeding window, a 16-hour fasting window. And then this week, I kind of messed up a little bit. I tried to do a caloric deficit. This I've done this in the past. There's a lot of different ways to lose weight, but one of the most simple processes is uh, eat less and move more. Burn more calories than you consume. I set my fitness pal for 1,200 calories a day and it was too little. So the one step that I left out is I did not calculate how many calories I should be eating just to be alive. And there's a thing called the basal metabolic rate, which basically you calculate it and it tells you how many calories you burn just sitting around. And uh, that's really the place that you should start. So the science, uh, the technique behind losing weight through caloric deficit is that there's 3,500 calories in a pound. If you know how many calories you're burning in a day, if you eat less than those calories for every 3,500 calories you don't eat, then you should lose weight. You're creating a caloric deficit. But to do that, you really need to know how much calories you're burning just being uh, you. And uh, that depends on your age, your weight, your height. So I'm going to do it on my phone. This is on a website called active.com. We're going to scroll down. We're going to do calorie needs. You choose whether you're male or female. Let me put my height in here. I'm six foot, one inch. I weigh 351. And I am 48 years old for at least another few weeks. And my activity level, I'm going to call it low active. I think I'm beyond sedentary. So if you hit this calculation number... It says, to maintain my current weight, I should be eating 4,127 calories per day. Okay, so I need a 3,500 calorie deficit to lose more weight. Well, this past week, I only ate 1,200 calories a day. Um, and there's a deal where you can eat uh, not enough and your body thinks that it's starving itself. So I released some weight this week, 1.5 pounds, but not as much as I would have thought. So having this information that I need 4,127 calories to maintain my current weight, I could drop down to 3,000 calories. I could drop down to 2,500 calories and get that nice deficit without starving myself. It's a you got to find the balance between your body releasing the weight and not releasing the weight. Uh, again, there's a lot of different techniques out there, uh, but if you're somebody who likes Weight Watchers, if you're somebody who's had success that way, that's based on a caloric deficit system. They assign point value values to different calories and then they work all that together to eventually put you in a caloric deficit that's kind of what happens under the hood when it comes to weight watchers so if you don't want to go through the weight watchers you can take an app like my fitness pal which will track your food daily and uh, you can set your goal for calories and then just stop eating when you hit those calories again combine that with intermittent fasting which works to uh, try to burn more fat because you have a bigger window when your insulin levels are low that's a whole different kind of science so it's kind of doing two things. In your feeding window, you're doing this caloric deficit, and then you're, when you eat, 
meat is a you know part of the fasting process. Again, there's people that are completely successful eating one meal a day, eating what they want, just doing intermittent fasting. I'm trying to hack it a little bit, just show you guys something different. But so, yeah, I'll leave a link to this calculator. You can tell how many calories you need to maintain your weight, and then you can start trying to eat less calories than that to get yourself a little bit of a deficit. But again, it's it's tricky. Uh, if you eat too less, your body's going to be mad. It's going to try to hold on to some of that weight because it thinks that it's being starved out a little bit, and it would take a while to break through that and then actually starve, which you don't want to starve because you, you don't want your body – you want your body to eat your fat. That's the big thing. You don't want the body to be tricked and start trying to eat muscle and all that other stuff. So that's just something I wanted to share with you guys. But, yes, I've hit the 20-pound mark after eight weeks. I'm very excited. Uh, it's working out. Hope you guys are doing good. See a lot of success stories on the Have to Lose support crew on Facebook. Come join us over there if you want to talk weight loss. Uh, and we will be back on Wednesday with some exercise. My foot's all healed up. I'm ready to get out there and get some more exercise in beyond the pool. My name's Tony. I have to lose weight, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.